846, uh, boy, Stephen, it's just almost getting too hot to go to the pool. I mean, I know, you know, folks go to the pool to cool off, but you got to deal with outdoors, walking on the pavement. Yeah, well, and if before too much longer, that, that pool water is just going to be like bath water. <laughs> yeah, basically. yeah, exactly. The longer we go with this heat wave. So I know, you know, just do whatever you can to stay cool. Uh, for folks that have to be, you know, on the field, whether you're just, you know, getting in some playtime with the kids later today, you've got uh, maybe some uh, sports practice as we head, you know, the next few weeks, we'll start having two days happening again. Uh, for football, for high school football, and this is going to continue to be an issue. For folks that are on the field, out on the grass today, obviously very hot. Unfortunately, wind's pretty light, not much of a breeze. Field's crunchy at this point, let's be honest. But late in the day, uh, there will be a chance for some thunderstorms. If you're going to be out and about late afternoon through early evening, obviously there's the heat to deal with, but there will be some thunderstorms flaring up. We will we'll certainly take the rain, but those could come with some strong damaging winds. Another ozone alert again today. We've had a lot of these this summer already with heat, sunshine, not a lot of wind. You know the deal. Uh, air quality has been a problem, especially these last couple of ozone alert days. Uh, the last couple of days, the ozone numbers have gone very, very high. It's some of those highest ozone numbers we've seen in several years. Uh, so another day where really, if you can try to do what you can uh, to limit your trips in the car, avoid refueling to the late evening hours. You know, at this point, hopefully you're just postponing mowing and gas power lawn equipment because the lawns are in pretty rough shape from the heat and the drought anyways. Uh, but that does help uh, trying to, to limit the emissions if you can hold off on using those. Temperatures generally 80s now in most spots. Fairly light easterly breeze. Straight into the forecast this afternoon. You know where we're going. We'll go kind of from an easterly wind this morning back to a south wind this afternoon, but only about 10 to 15 miles per hour if that. Triple digit highs, as high as about 105 in the metro. We've got 102, 103 on the map elsewhere. Uh, 100 to 101 out west, that's where storms are going to fire up first. The temperatures may level off a little bit. Heat index values as high as 110, though, in quite a few spots with the higher humidity. So if you are going to be poolside this afternoon, just be aware, of course, sizzling. But here you go, late afternoon, early evening, there's that opportunity for a few thunder storms and a few of those could be severe. We haven't had that opportunity for a little while here, but late afternoon through early evening, I'd say especially kind of situated between about Oklahoma City and Tulsa, generally that corridor down in the southeastern Oklahoma, that's where there's the best opportunity for storms that could have some damaging wind gusts. And you'll see that here on future view uh, as we go through the day in the triple digit heat, but then three, four, especially about four to five o'clock through six o'clock, we expect thunderstorms to blossom generally from about I-35 down about the I-40 corridor Okima down towards maybe even near McAllister doesn't mean you're all going to get a thunderstorm but you've got a little bit better opportunity and again some of those as they develop quickly and then they fall apart they can often opt often produce some strong damaging winds in excess of 50 to 60 miles per hour so that's something you obviously got to be aware of if you're going to be under one of those storms later on by this evening we're hoping at least for some leftover showers and spots this would be kind of storms though fall apart when we lose daytime heating uh, mild muggy again tomorrow morning in the upper 70s and then tomorrow Tomorrow afternoon, it's still going to be a chance for a few more pop-up thunderstorms in spots outside of any pop-up storms tomorrow. Once again, most of us will be at or exceeding that 100 degree mark pretty easily. Over the weekend, storm chances are pretty minimal and the heat gets dangerous again. 106 Saturday, 108 Sunday and Monday. The winds crank up, humidity drops, so that means fire danger becomes an increasing concern over the weekend with uh, stronger winds kicking in. No relief through uh, the seven-day forecast. Just off the seven-day, we are hoping for a drop in temperatures, at least a little bit of one, by late next week, about this time next week.